Hey everyone, this is Rick McDermott here with Senior Solutions Group, and thank you for checking out this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, and if you'd like to get updates, please click on the bell icon. You will get updated whenever we upload a new video. So I came across a really good article on Forbes just the other day. I'm sure many of you are seeing the commercials on TV, the endless commercials with a certain football player, especially talking about a Medicare give back program or a social security give back program. So what that basically refers to is people who are on a Medicare Advantage plan, not on regular Medicare, but on Medicare Advantage, being able to get their Part B premium eliminated in its entirety. So wow, you're able to keep $144 a month. Now it's $148.50 a month out of your check each month. So this, this article talks about that. So the author of the article makes some good points. She talked about how this is the officially the Medicare Part B give back program. And it started, it first appeared back in 2003, a federal regulation authorized the precursor to the Medicare Advantage program, then known as Medicare Plus Choice Plans. So it goes all the way back to 2003. In order to qualify for this program, these are the three ways you can qualify. You have to meet all three of them. You must be a Medicare beneficiary enrolled in Part A and Part B. You must be responsible for paying your Part B premiums and you must live in the service area of the plan that is participating in the program. So the good question is, which plans qualify for those uh, give back programs? So this author checked three zip codes in three major cities, Fort Lauderdale near Miami, Chicago and Los Angeles. Of the 146 plans in those three zip codes, there were 23 HMO plans and two PPO plans that offer the premium reduction plan. So that's 25 plans out of 146 that offered that premium reduction plans. Of those, a few did not cover prescription drugs. One thing you need to be aware of is if you sign up for one of these plans that do not offer prescription drugs, you cannot sign up for a separate standalone Part D drug plan. It is not allowed by law. There's also some special needs plans that participate, but you must be in many of these plans either in a nursing home or have a certain condition like diabetes to qualify. Again, you must live in a zip code where these plans are available. So. On one of these commercials, the woman proclaims, I got the dental, the transportation, the meals, the give back benefit, they were all very helpful. What are the odds of you getting all four of those benefits? Transportation, meals, the give back and dental. Well, you'll have to be hospitalized. You'll have to not only be hospitalized, but then require meals after getting back home. Some of these plans only provide maybe up to 12 meals per discharge for three qualified hospital stays a year. So there is free food, but it's a not a lot of free food. Does the plan send you a check? There is no direct payments to the beneficiaries. This is a reduction in your Part B premium. On many of these plans, they only give you from $25 up to $144 a month. Specifically, only six plans offered in these three zip codes offered a 25 to a $50 reduction, 15 plans offered a 51 to $100 reduction, and four plans gave back between $100 and $144. Only two plans covered the full $144. So when you see these ads that are offering you a $144 a month, guess what? The odds of you getting one of those plans or living in one of those areas are slim, very slim, their main goal is to get you to call that 800 number so they can switch your insurance. That's their primary objective. So the football player, Mr. Namath in this case, and other celebrity narrators are pitching you Medicare Advantage, Medicare Advantage, Medicare Advantage with no other option but Medicare Advantage in most cases. So words of wisdom. Do not let these bells and whistles entice you to switch your plan, maybe lose your doctor, maybe you end up having to pay a huge amount of copays that you weren't planning on prior to calling these 800 numbers. 
So you need to ask some very important questions. Are your prescriptions covered? Are your doctors covered? Are your pharmacies covered? Have you checked out the plan's track record? There are star ratings. There's a lot of factors that go into picking out a good plan. We at Senior Solutions Group specialize in educating you on all the pros and cons with Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement Plans, Prescription Drug Plans, Long-Term Care Cost. So if you have any questions about how any of this works, feel free to reach out to us at SeniorSolutions.net or feel free to give us a call. Thanks so much and have a blessed rest of your day.